So tell me about your project. Oh, um, yeah. A pivot for um, the environment. And, like, we're going to see, to show them that, like, how much they're, they're taking out of the oceans and fisheries and stuff. But when we, when we worry about that, the fishermen have no work. What do you think about that? Hmm. No, they just don't take as much. As oh, I see. There's, there's a quota. Do you know the word quota? Yeah. So you're using animation to show this? Yeah, so. and, and uh, planned obsolescence and perceived obsolescence. I see. What do you think of planned obsolescence? Well, I think that if they want us to buy something, then they shouldn't make it break. Well, think of computers, though. They seem to invent new things for us, new cell phone types, new computer types every day. Do you think they shouldn't? No, but that's kind of like perceived obsolescence. Yours that you got right then works fine, but you want to get the new one and you spend a lot more money to just to trash the one that works perfectly fine. I see. So you see the discipline plan and perceived. That's interesting. Thank you. So do you think that electric cars will help us? I think so. But they don't need gas to charge. They could charge with a plug in the wall, which is hydro. Yeah, but that would use more power for our world. It would use more power, but Niagara Falls keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's a renewable so, source. Yeah, it'd be better. I think, I think you should mention some hope. Rather than just because you guys are all going to want cars, don't fool me. When you're 16, what's the first thing you're going to want? Man? Car. That's right. So you need to give me some hope about this pollution you're talking about. What kind of car might change? Like um, something that uses like, like a, uh, a smart car or. Yeah, and I think you could offer these options. You might want to check on internet. Um, cars for the future or anti-pollution cars and add to your, your strength of your peace so that there's hope rather than just negative thought. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to like make an opening statement to make them actually do it, not just listen to it. Right, that's like give, give five things to do to change this world. Good for you. Excellent. We're doing a pivot about how planned obsolescence relates to Canada's and its trading partners, and, we're, and our persuasive point is going to be why um, Canada, why cars should be made to last longer. Because cars only last five years, and that's not enough because they're just filling up our landfills, and landfills are just filling up and filling up. But if you are in the making of it and you spend more time on making one car and make them last say 20 years or something then our landfills won't be as full. Um, I'm working on how like newspaper waste and how much new how many trees we actually cut down for one newspaper. But I love the newspaper. I know but um do you actually read the whole newspaper? No. Yeah um that's what I was trying to prove that we actually cut down way more trees than we think and we don't actually use the whole newspaper. So my like solution to that was that you would say what part of the newspaper you would want and then they would just give that part to you that you would read. Online? Yeah, or you could just read it online. And you read online a newspaper? Um, yeah, I do, especially when our class is in the newspaper or doing video conference. Oh, I see. So, do you think that newspapers will go out of business then? Um, no, I don't think that they'll be going out of business. I just think that um, we should like only use the newspaper when we actually have to and then when we need to. Because if um, everybody has one newspaper in their house, then that's probably killing about 50 trees. So. We could just um, say that the people who need newspapers or want them... Do any newspapers use recycled paper? Um, I'm not sure about I that. I want you to find out right now. Okay. I'll come back in a minute and you'll tell me. Okay.